Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Network. For just over a year, Unified Talk has been available in the United States. And finally, as of this week, it is now available in Canada. It is supposed to be coming to different regions of the world, but I'm not too sure on a date. I don't get that type of information. In this video, we'll get Unified Talk set up, which I'm going to be using for my business as I don't want to use my cell phone anymore. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unified Talk consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com and I do have affiliate links in the description below. Within the Canadian store, we have two different phones that we could choose from right now. We have the Phone Touch Max unlocked and then we have the Phone Touch, which is unlocked as well. If you're purchasing from the United States, you have quite a bit more. You have the two lock phones, you have the ATA, and then you have the Phone Flex, which is currently sold out. I don't have any lock phones and I haven't worked on them. Before the lock phones, you need to buy a Unify Talk number per phone if you're going to be buying those. That's why they are cheaper because you're going to be doing the $9.99 a month per phone line. But for Canada, the Phone Touch Max is $399 and the Phone Touch is $269. If we click on the product page, we could get this phone in black and white. And then it says this unlocked model is ideal for configurations where users only share numbers with groups. We recommend the Phone Touch Max for configurations where each user is directly assigned a unique personal Unify Talk number. We're only gonna have one number, I'm gonna create a group and we're just gonna share that number between users. Other things to consider, you need to have a console that runs Unify Talk. So the UDM Pro, the UDM SE, the UDR, the Dream Walls, so on and so forth. You would also want a power over ethernet switch as these phones don't come with PoE injectors. Now, one last thing before we dive into the configuration of Unify Talk, down at the bottom, you can see Unify Talk subscription service is available in Canada as of April, 2023. Manage with Unify Talk application version 1.21.0 or later. If we look at the release notes for Unify Talk application 1.21.0, this is an EA version and I have gotten approval to do a video on this. So if you're wanting to use Unify Talk within Canada, you need to switch to the release channel of the early access and then update your talk to that EA version. Now we're over on my UDM SE and you can see that I'm in the early access release version. I do have Unify Talk already updated, but we need to get this installed. So I'll click on install and then it will go through the install queue and then we'll get it set up. We can now see that the talk is ready to be set up. So I'm gonna click on set up. Now we're seeing welcome to Unify Talk. And if we scroll down below, it says I will use Unify Talk and then we need to select the country. So we have the United States and I'm in Canada. So I'm gonna select Canada. I'm gonna to agree to the terms and service and then we're gonna press start set up. So I had already tested this out and it doesn't look like it's gonna allow me to skip this. So we could see we've detected a previous install. So I'm gonna to have to select this current device. But what it would ask you next if you're doing a fresh install would be for your address and E911 information and we will take a look at that. So I'm going to select my current UDM SE and then we're going to press next. Under setup devices I have two different phones. I have the Touch and then I have the Touch Max which are both unlocked phones. So we have an area code which they're saying none internal calls only. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to purchase a phone number. You could select an area code if you'd like but we'll do that afterwards. So I'll press next on this. The next step, it says emergency service information. Your address is needed for E911 calls. And you can see that my address is down below. You just wanna verify that that's correct and then we'll press next. And now we're preparing Unify Talk, which is great. Now we're on the Unify Talk dashboard and it's showing us that I'm on my Mac Telecom SE, which is my UDM SE. It's showing us our service provider, which will be Talk and the latency and the service health. We could also see Unified Talk numbers is zero. So we have external call minutes, SMS usage, internal call minutes, and then international call minutes, which is all at zero. And there's no call logging because we haven't made any calls yet. Under the devices, it has assigned my two users. So it has my Cody McCallum and then my Mac Telecom test, but we can't do any calling yet because we have no number. We could call between extensions if we'd like. We have our smart attendant, which we will set up shortly. And then we have the system log. So we have calls, SMS, critical devices, telephony, and then we have billing. So as of right now, I don't have any phone numbers, so we're gonna go ahead and purchase a new number. But one thing to note for porting numbers, right now it isn't available in Canada. But Ubiquity is open to doing manual porting if you do request it for them until this feature is available. So let's go ahead and purchase a number. We need to select the country which we're in, and then I'm gonna look for an Ontario area code. So I'm gonna scroll down 
and we'll look for a 647 area code. Now that I have 647 selected, I'm gonna choose one of these numbers and then I'm gonna start the purchase. So I'll need to put in my credit card information to be able to get this number. All right, now I have the number purchased 647-496-6496, which is awesome and it is currently undesigned and I don't have SMS available. I will end up turning that on later. We do get 50 free SMS per month. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna set up the smart attendant and assign this number to it. The first step is meet your smart attendant and then it goes over what it does. I'm gonna give it a name of Mac Telecom and then we're gonna press next. Step two, what numbers do you want your smart attendant to answer? We only have that one number, so we're gonna go ahead and select it. We could give our smart attendant an extension if we liked. I'm just gonna leave that on optional. And then we have our ringback, which they have a couple different ringbacks that you could choose from. I'll just choose the global and we could take a listen to what that sounds like. We could also upload our own ringback if we'd like. And then we have our hold music. So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Again, we could upload our own hold music. So we'll press next. Now in step three, it says, will your smart attendant work differently based on business hours? And I'm gonna choose yes. Now we need to select what our business hours are. And for me, it will be eight to five. Now with the eight to five selected through Monday through Friday, we're gonna press next. Step four, it says, do you want to enable extension dialing? When enabled, callers can dial an extension to connect with the user or group without going through the auto attendant. And I'm gonna say yes. For the extension dialing configuration, I'm just gonna leave it on the smart attendant ring menu and we'll press next. Now step five is where we're gonna tell the smart attendant what to say. And there are two different voices that you could choose from. There's a female voice and then there's a male voice. Let's listen to the first voice. Hello, Hello. thank you for thank calling, you for us. calling us. So that's the first voice. Now let's listen to the second voice. Hello. Hello, thank you for, thank calling, you for calling, us. calling us. And we could change what they say in this text dialog box. So it says, hello, thank you for calling us. I'm gonna say, hello, thank you for calling Mac Telecom Networks. So here's the dialogue that I put in and you will hear that it says Mac Telecom wrong. So I'm gonna have to switch that. Hello, hello. thank you for thank calling Mac Telecom Networks. So it says that wrong. I'm just gonna put a space between Mac and Telecom and then we'll hear if it says it properly. Hello, hello. thank you for thank calling, you calling Mac, Mac Telecom Mac Networks. Network which it does. Please. So I'm gonna leave it at this greeting right now. I probably will upload my own in the future when I start using this phone number for my business. We also have the non-business hours, which you could put in whatever you like to say after the business is closed. So I'm just gonna press next. On step six, it says, do you want your smart attendant to direct calls based on the caller's key press? And we do, but I haven't set up any groups yet. But for the first one, I'll just say for sales. And for the ring destination, we just have two users currently. I'm just gonna select my one user and then we'll press finish. I'm gonna go ahead and create a group after this is set up. Okay, so that call tree is now set up. We can see if you dial my number 647-496-6496, it's gonna hit our business hours and then it will say that smart attendant. If it's on non-business hours, it will go down here. Now, if the person on the other line dials my extension, it will go directly to my phone but if they press one, it's just gonna ring this user. So now I'm gonna create a group so it could ring more than one user. Now to create a group, we need to go over to our assignments and then select groups. You can see we currently don't have one, but in the top right hand corner, we're gonna add a group. For me, I'm the only one who works for this business. I'm just gonna call the group name Mac Telecom, and then we're gonna have a group number. So the group number will be this one right here. Now we have call handling, so we have simultaneous or we have sequential. I'm gonna have them ring at the same time. We could add different members to this group. So I'm gonna click on add members and then we're gonna select all my users. So Cody McCallum and Mac Telecom Test. If you want, you could remove users or you could re-add them at any time. And then we have unanswered calls and what we'd like to do with it. So we have global send to voicemail, we have send to voicemail, and then we have drop call or transfer back to the smart attendant. I'll just have it global send to voicemail. The voicemail recipient for this will be me, Cody McCallum, and then the ringback will be the global and you could upload your own ringback again. So now if we go back to our devices, you could see both of these users are using the same phone number. So you only need to purchase one Unify Talk number and you could have multiple different devices using that number. Now going back to the smart attendant, we need to edit the call tree. If somebody dials the number, it's gonna hit our business hours and then they're gonna press one for sales. Well, that only goes to my phone currently. So we're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna press this plus icon, and then we're gonna have it ring phones. So under this ring phones, you can now see that I have this group. We'll click on the group, 
and then that saves. So when we call into my phone number, both of the phones will ring. Now for my non-business hours, I do offer emergency support at a different rate. So I'm gonna change what it says. I'm gonna click on the non-business hours, and then under our message, I'm gonna change it. Right now it says, hello, thank you for calling us. We're out of the office right now. This is what I put, hello, thank you for calling us. We're out of the office right now. If this is a network emergency, press one. Extra charges will occur for emergency support. If this is not an emergency, please call during business hours or send an email. So we're gonna apply the changes for that. Now that's generated, let's take a listen to how it sounds. Hello, thank you for calling us. We're out of the office right now. If this is a network emergency, press one. Extra charges will occur for emergency support. If this is not an emergency, please call during business hours or send an email. Now the non-business hours has saved. We need to tell it what to do. So we're gonna hit the blue plus. It's gonna be a key press, and this will be for emergency support. Once that's done, we're gonna hit the green plus and we're gonna ring phones. This is gonna ring my Cody McCallum. So on the phones themselves, you could read direct numbers. So when I leave the office for the day, I'll redirect the number to my cell phone. Now let's take a look at some of the user settings. We're under Cody McCallum and we can see manage. The device that's assigned to me is the touch and we don't have a number directed to our extension. If you want the phone to have its own number, you can do that by purchasing a number. We're just going through that group right now and you can see what our outgoing number is. We could also change our extension. This phone is currently on 0001 and then we have outgoing intercom selected. For a voicemail, we could set up a voicemail greeting. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you could do that if you'd like. And we also have the timeout. So we have six rings, or you could select whichever version you would like. There's also now teleport integration within Unify Talk. So if you have remote users, you could ship them a phone, you'd send them an invite, they scan the QR code, and then they're added into our Unify Talk, which is an awesome feature. I do have a video on it, and I will put that in the description below. Now let's quickly go over some of the call settings. So we have a ringback, we could choose a ringback or hold music, we could upload our own audio, and we could do custom audio and repeating messages. We have some additional settings, which is call recording, default area code, and then fail over redirect number. So if our Unify Talk system goes down and somebody's trying to call in our phone number, this would redirect to the phone that you put in place, which I think is a great feature. We also have call parking and then call blocking rules, and I may do separate videos if there's enough interest. Now we have our global voicemail settings. So we have voicemail, which is enabled, and you need to have a hard drive in your UDM to be able to store these. We have voicemail instructions, and then we have our voicemail timeout. Again, we have our emergency call settings, and you could edit this if you do change locations. Now, this is a feature I really like under our notifications. We have our voicemail where we could use Teams, Slack, or we could do email. I'm going to select the email. Now, if we show additional settings, we could have recordings and transcriptions of our voicemails sent to our email. So I'm going to do that. And that's all it takes to set up the email to voicemail, which is very, very simple. You'd also do that for incoming call failures and SMS. We also have third-party SIP settings. So you don't need to use a Unify Talk subscription. You could use, say, VoIPMS to handle all your calls. And I do have another video on that, which I will put in the description. So that's going to be it for this video on Unify Talk. And I'm really, really happy that it came to Canada. This will work perfectly for my small to mid-sized businesses. There is still some features missing, inbound caller ID, as well as they don't have a mobile phone application, but I do hope that comes out shortly. This video was a very quick overview of what Unify Talk could do and how easy it is to set up. Obviously, I only had two users, but you could replicate this if you had 100 users. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.